Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. Welcome to another YouTube 30 of 30 channel review. In this series, I'm reviewing channels from 30 YouTubers and I'm telling you what they're doing awesome and also giving them some tips on how they can improve. This entire series is sponsored by our friends over at TubeBuddy who make a great browser plugin that's helping me audit these YouTube channels. It's something I use for my paying clients. You can use the TubeBuddy browser plugin to find out how you're ranking in YouTube search, what your competitors are doing, and when the best times to upload your videos are. There are a ton of great features and tools in TubeBuddy and it's something that I use here regularly on the channel and it is my secret weapon when it comes to dominating YouTube search. So make sure you're checking out that plugin at TubeBuddy.com awesome. Links are in the description. So let's go ahead and jump into today's review. Hey everybody, and in this YouTube 30 of 30 review, we're going to be reviewing I Want My Lauren. Uh, this channel is one of the biggest channels we've reviewed here on YouTube 30 of 30. There's a lot that we can learn from this channel, a lot that's doing right, but I also found a few little tweaks where this channel can improve. This is a variety channel. Um, Lauren does so many things, and uh, let's learn a little bit more about her here in the About section. So you can see that she does sketch comedy, she's an actress, she does humor, beauty videos, just anything that takes her fancy and that she does a lot of parody. The thing you have to be careful about with these kind of channels is the copyright and the fair use stuff. Uh, that gets a little iffy, but I think Lauren's actually doing it right and doing it very well. And she also does a lot of collaborations. She's even collaborated with my good friend Jason Horden, uh, another popular YouTuber in the comedy and entertainment space. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at Lauren's channel and see what we can learn from it. And see, again, there is a lot going on here. You have different videos with a lot of different styles of production values. I mean, this one, the production values and everything going on is insane, right? So you can see there's just a lot going on here, and it's not something that every channel can do. This is something that, you know, bigger channels uh, with bigger budgets and bigger production can do, but it doesn't happen overnight. And you can see this channel grow over time. There's a lot of different things. There are music video parodies here, and this channel is very different. This is not something that I think that most people can replicate and I think that this particular channel skews toward a very specific audience. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the strategies behind a channel like this because there are YouTube entertainers out there who are going to be watching and that's why I wanted to interview a successful YouTube entertainment channel and this is definitely an example of that. So there are episodes here of a playlist. There are videos that are specifically humor. There are Google Hangouts. There are collabs. There's a lot of collabs here. So that actually matters quite a bit. And you can see that a playlist with those channels, especially look at some of these channels. These are big channels. This is Andre from Black Nerd Comedy, one of the biggest uh, YouTube channels out there in the entertainment and comedy space for what he does. Half a million subscribers. Obviously, Philip DeFranco, one of the biggest YouTubers out there. Almost, you know, a million subscribers now. Jason Horton, good friend of mine, 100,000 subscribers. So doing these collabs, and again, another 3 million subscriber channel, doing these collabs can really help you if you're an entertainer. I think for other YouTubers that collabs can be great, but I don't think they have as much value. But if you're into entertainment and in the comedy space, then I think there's a lot to be said for doing YouTube collaborations and those type of videos. Uh, so I definitely think that matters. I want to go back and see what the earliest days of this channel really looked like though. So you can see that even in the earliest days, there were a lot of good thumbnails, and for entertainment channels, you kind of have to do slightly clickbaity things uh, to get attention for entertainment channels because that's the space you're competing in. But I also want to, you know, say that there's no overnight success. Not every one of these videos has a lot of views, and you can see in the early days, many of them didn't, and that actually, you know, matters. So, a lot of this will be hit or miss. A lot of this is 
you know, just seeing what sticks to the wall, you know, throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks, and that's what the entertainment side of things are. There are plenty of traditional television channels that release what they think are going to be fantastic shows, and the shows flop, and they either don't get greenlit or they get canceled after one season, and so we see that a lot with YouTube entertainment channels. So that is what I'm seeing here is that there's a lot of content here and a lot of high quality, good produced content, a lot of content that was smart and that had just the right amount of intrigue and that works. If that's your system and that's your audience and that's your type of content, then yeah, that's what you should definitely do. Uh, when you look at the list of uh, people Lauren thinks are cool, there are a lot of you know, other entertainment YouTubers here with various uh, levels of you know, subscribers and I, I think that you can also see the channels that this is related to and so that gives you just kind of an indication of the level that this channel is playing at. I think Lauren is really smart about her overall YouTube strategy. I think showing behind the scenes videos of a high quality production is actually really smart if you're doing entertainment style stuff. I think that music video parody, if done well, can be good. And again, this is a lot of things that are sensational and are going to attract a mainstream audience it's not typically my type of channel but i definitely respect what you can do with this kind of thing if you actually have the talent and the chops and lauren is someone who does so if you're an entertainer and if you're truly funny truly engaging and if you can sing you can dance if you can do those kind of things then i think that you maximize your advantage by using a combination of good thumbnails, good branding strategy, knowing your audience and like, you know, if your audience likes clickbaity thumbnails or titles, then you you play to your strengths. You you definitely double down on that. Uh, I would like to see just a little bit more information in the description about the different types of playlists. If I was trying to figure out where I wanted to start or what I wanted to watch, that would be helpful. The other thing about this channel is I don't know you know where to begin and it does show like I think her latest video and I know why a lot of youtubers get that I would have just liked to have seen a sizzle reel of her as an actress and um, what the channel is about so I definitely would have done that and let's look at some channel analytics we don't do that this often so this has a quarter million uh, subscriber channel strong YouTube channel 3.8 8 million views that is huge and then look at the volume of content that Lauren's been doing over a period of time 363 videos that's a lot she averages about a hundred thousand per video now we saw that not all of her videos do that that there are some videos that only get like 5,000 views so the subscriber growth here is definitely um, not what I would have expected so my advice on growing the subscriber growth because that just seems weird that there's a trend there I would say that maybe sharing this more in social and let's go into one of these videos let's find a video here that is um, safe for work <laughs> and okay this is probably yep fan Friday responding to me in comments alright so this is a very recent video this is doing well overall let's look at it go into some statistics um, it hasn't driven subscribers it's lost a few subscribers uh, there are some shares here um, so that's good and let's see what's happening with tags okay so I see a lot of things happening here I see a lot of single word tags and I see the branding tag is ranking so there's not a lot of ways to find this video for search so it's relying on the fan base and it's relying on shares if the video is not driving people to share based on either liking the video or asking for it early on then that's definitely a vulnerability and that's why a video like this will not perform as well on this channel and that could definitely hurt let's look at the social monitor and see what's going on so there are a lot of people who like this video. Um, nobody in Reddit, Google Plus, Pinterest, and I don't think we can see Facebook right now. Um, so that means that this is not getting a ton of shares. It's getting very few. It's only been out a couple of days, but it's got a ton of views and almost no shares. And this is the type of video 
that needs those shares because the majority of the fan base is not just watching this video to watch it, even though it's a relevant video. Reading mean comments, that means that somebody in the community's comments might be read or it might address something about YouTube, which we all care about. So this video you would think would get more views, but the description, and let me get back to that, the description doesn't do a lot for it. And that's probably hurting it in search. I think that a stronger description and maybe I don't know if this title is working. Um, I think titling this as my reaction to mean comments would have done better because we all know react putting reaction in your video and in your title uh, definitely gets a ton of views and that people like reaction videos and that just going with a genre shift uh, there would definitely help. And then for search, a lot of people search reaction videos. So I think that that would have been what I would recommend to Lauren to improve this particular video and get search. So any of the underperforming videos on your channel, Lauren, I would say look at ways to game search because a lot of what you're relying on now is shares and social media and the thumbnail uh, doing well on its own, uh, especially as far as recent videos. You'll notice that the recent videos have not been getting a ton of views. It's the older videos. So I'd also use TubeBuddy, which you can um, get at TubeBuddy.com slash awesome. And I would go back and I would optimize those videos for search, but I would also add annotations and add info cards to those videos. And I think that that will help funnel traffic to your new videos if you update it and point them to your new content because those videos are still getting a ton of watches. Now, this dating tips on how to act on the first date. Okay, you would think that this would do really well, especially with your audience. And Jason Horton's in it, so he has a fan base that's sharing this too. The lack of a description here is what's really hurting this video for uh, views. And I'm going to give this a thumbs up because my buddy Jason's in it. Uh, and let's go ahead and subscribe. Now, let's look at the tags. These are weak tags for this video. Um, yeah, those are really weak tags for this video. Let's see if we can do better with TubeBuddy. So if you don't have this tool, grab it from TubeBuddy.com slash awesome. And then you can use this to do some research on your tags and where you can improve. So if we type in first date, um, let's see if that even ranks here because there might not be enough with just the title and there's almost nothing in the description to help with that. Dating tips. How to act on the first date, which is the actual title, which is not in the first line of the description. So how to act on the first date. We would, and how to is a huge category in YouTube. So how to act on the first date would get you on the first page of Google and you'd be ranked seventh. Uh, not on Google, I'm sorry, YouTube. It would rank you on the first page of YouTube and you'd be ranked seventh. And you probably could get some ranking in Google for the video search for this. So that's huge right there. Um, dating tips, first date. Let's see what happens there. Okay. That matters. Okay. Dating tips for the first date. that ranks as well. So all these variations of your title, which is something that I think the majority of you should be doing, all these variations for your title as tags and incorporating this somehow into the description of your video, you have a better chance of ranking on the first page of YouTube in a high ranking search position. And I think that really matters. So you're not using the first three lines of the description for that. You're not using the title as the first thing. And I think that all of that would immediately improve this particular video. Uh, and this video came out just a few months ago, and you could be getting tons of views on this. You could get, you could have like 50, 60,000 views on this with those improvements over a period of time. So I definitely think that matters. I think that uh, that's super important. This has been shared a little bit on Facebook, so that's where the majority of these views came from is from shares on Facebook. And it's got likes, it's got comments, it's got the engagement. So that's where it's coming from. Um, let's use TubeBuddy's social monitor. And it's got some love in Twitter. Okay, awesome. Nobody talking about it in Reddit, Google+. So I would 
use those things to your advantage and that's how I would improve these type of videos. So I would go back at all your underperforming videos and I would update the titles, the descriptions and the tags. I would go back and I'd add annotations and info cards to your videos because um, you know, here's only one info card and also was this video helpful and that's it. You have five info card slots that you could be using. So I would use all of them and uh, you know, try and get as much value from that. You could use annotations somewhere to link to a related video. I think that that could be helpful. So Lauren, those are the things that I would do to improve your videos and your channel. And that's my advice. Even with a quarter of a million subscribers, you see that any YouTube channel can use just a little bit of help. Um, you know, if you've got all these subscribers and you're not getting views on channel, and it's hard when you have a variety of content, when you're not super niche, it's hard, it's a challenge that I face too, but giving your videos the best shot at being discovered in search is definitely gonna help with that. So that's my best advice, Lauren. Um, keep up the good work, say hi to Jason for me, and good luck. So that's it for today's review. If you wanna check out more videos from this awesome creator, make sure you're hitting them up. Links are in the description below so you can check out their channel. There were a lot of great tips in this review. Maybe they can actually help you improve your YouTube channel if you're doing something similar. I want to thank our friends over at TubeBuddy for sponsoring this review today. Uh, I couldn't be doing this without them. They make my life a lot easier, and it's something that I think could help a lot of you. So make sure you're checking that out at TubeBuddy.com awesome. I think it'll help you grow your YouTube channel. Remember, there are 30 total YouTube channel reviews in this playlist, so if these tips don't apply to you, maybe something that I gave to another creator in terms of advice is something that would be more helpful for you with your channel. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Remember, YouTube tips are usually on Fridays. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.